So the next manuscript that we're looking at is LJS 449. This is a sort of mid to late 15th century German manuscript. Hmm. It is a, um, this is, it's very interesting. It's an astronomical, astrological, and medical miscellany. Oh. So it has these three um, different types of text sort of all put together. And it has several different, it has 11 different texts. So it's really a miscellany mm -hmm. um, kind of thing. But it shows how those texts went together for people who are studying them and thinking about them. Exactly. So it, it's sort of an illustration of how the medieval pe people, even late, sort of late in the 15th century, which in some ca some places you're sort of getting into the Renaissance, right? The so-called Renaissance. Yeah, the so-called Renaissance. <laughs> um, but they're the, but they're still thinking about these things. There's not the separation at all. That's right. Um, they think about them together. Mm -hmm. um, so this. Is one of my favorite manuscripts and there's a lot that's wonderful about it but we're really going to look at the diagrams um, for obvious reasons because mm. we're still thinking about of course the Jedi manuscripts so we've got these several pages with these um, diagrams with these sort of blue circles um, is it a moon I'm thinking a moon that's no moon oh <laughs> that was set up oh my gosh <laughs> Um, these are moons. These are moons, yeah. <laughs> we found the moon. So, so do you want to say something a little bit about these diagrams? Yeah, again, these are, these are sort of like charting the phases of the moon. And are, these look like dates, right? Dates. So, Anna, Anno Domini, and then dates 14, all around the outside. 1433, 1436, 1437, 1438, 39... 40, 48, no, 14, I don't know, the numbers are hard to tell, yeah. 62, yeah. But this is, uh, so this goes back to the dating thing, mm -hmm, this is how mm -hmm. you could sort of tell when it was written because of the way they were looking at the dates and which dates would matter coming up. Right. But this is really similar, again, to... Um, page two of the Jedi manuscripts, mm -hmm. where we have two images that are both charting uh, the phases of what looks like the phases looks of like the moon. moon. Yeah. 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 And it's, they're sort of similar to these. Um, and then we have more of these yeah. um, ones, which again, you know, you have anytime you're seeing something that's like a circle with numbers and data, there's something that's being calculated, um, calculated in there, like an early computer. Kind of thing. Yeah, and again, when we were looking for manuscripts that are similar to the Jedi texts, this one jumped out, and uh, because it's it's just full of these circular images. But the blue and the blue mm -hmm. really stands out on these pages. Blue is really important in these these images. Yeah, and this is a really nice one. Yeah, and then there's more. So I wish we had time to look at more of this because it's really cool. I know, and the zodiac images. The zodiac yeah. images and the the urine samples. Should we, can, we, can we look at the urine samples? Let's look at the urine. We'll samples. look at the urine. There we go, urine samples, twenty three verso. So, um, you can tell a lot apparently from about a person's health by the state of their urine. And so this manuscript has a lot of different examples of different colors and like what's wrong with you if you're, <laughs> if your pee is black or green or red you know sort of like fun. a jedi lightsaber you can tell a lot 